time to my brethren, my friends, and those that look for the coming of the Lord. I want to share a little thought with you this morning from James, James 5, verses 7 and 8. James 5, verses 7 and 8. And I may go to Isaiah 26, 20. I'm talking with the people that really are conscious of what God is about to do and waiting for the advent, the advent of the Lord. The scripture said, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Be also patient. Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord. Draw it nigh. Again, I am privileged to open my mouth to encourage you today about the coming of the Lord, about the advent that is about to take place, and to remind you, brethren, it takes patience. It takes endurance and it takes a continual in part in sharing with God. The delay of the Lord some sleep some take it slight but as a reminder today to tell you that the day of the Lord is at hand. And James remind us this morning and encourage us and strengthen me this morning to tell you as he said, be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. A lot of, lot of our folks get weary and a lot get on the wavering side. But it's a day to be encouraged and to be put in place the patience that will take us to the other side. He said, Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth. Oh, glory to God. The precious fruit of the earth. That is the redeemed. That is the blood wash. That is those that bear his name. That is those that he had paid the price at Calvary for. We becomes the precious fruit of the earth. And the husbandman waited for that. So it takes patience. While he waits, while he delay, we have to see to it that our lamp trim. Our lamp and oil is intact and ready for the journey. You know what he's saying to us this morning? Behold, the, bra the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth. Men are dying without hope today. Men are dying without any consolation. But thank God there is a people who know the God in whom they believe. This song said, My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest rain, but only lean on Jesus' name. The precious fruit of the earth, the redeemed. The precious fruit of the earth, the saints. The precious fruit of the earth, is those that hold fast. I heard Paul in 1 
Corinthians 15, 58. He said, be steadfast, be unmovable, brethren, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Do not give up. Do not lose hope. Do not be impatient, but be patient. For he is waiting for the fruit of the earth until he receive the early and latter rain. I say to you again, be steadfast. Hold to your patience. Verse 8 said, And be also patient. Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord dry nigh. If I could put one word in your heart today, encourage yourself in the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. We are waiting for his, his return. Put murmuring aside. Put faith in action. Be patient for the day of the Lord dry nigh. And sir, ma'am, we won't regret it. We are going through a phase that I never know that for so long. I could not get the privilege of going into the church but it happened and listen what the bible said to us long time from isaiah 26 20 come my people enter thou into thy chamber and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation is past, overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. I want to encourage my brethren. It may be long. It may be long. But be steadfast. Get in your chamber. Shut the door. Oh, glory. Keep that music ringing. Keep the praises alive. Keep the testimony going. God is still in control. And although the epidemic is going right across the globe, there is a deep second peace in my soul. And the scripture said the arm of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it in and are saved. I again ask you in the name of Jesus, get into your closet, your chamber, your private place. There's a secret place. There's a place where you can make contact with God. The oh Lord, you may not have the chance to go out today in the public, in the church, but you can still have that melody deep down in your heart. And again, I encourage you, as he waited, as we wait for his return, hold fast and never give up. For God will come in the blaze of his glory to take from this world, from this earth, his own. And the sound man said, O oh Lord Jesus, how long? He know. He know. God bless you. Until I talk with you again. In Jesus' name.